Hi gamers, just a quick update on my collection here, not that many games to cover but I've uh, been waiting for a couple of items to arrive in the mail for so long that now that they both arrived today I just wanted to do a video of them straight away. And uh, the first of those items is here, this is a Game & Watch Ball reproduction, uh, officially made by Nintendo uh, for Club Nintendo. Stars catalog, so you you redeemed your uh, uh, stars points that you receive uh, with your Nintendo games, and you can redeem them for gifts. And uh, this was uh, seven thousand, yeah, seven thousand stars. So a lot of games went into this, but I got this. Uh, uh, it, it it took some uh, took some doing because the. Um, uh, the service isn't available to Finland as it is, so I had to utilize uh, the help of uh, Satchman2000 uh, who lives in England and was kind enough to receive this for me and uh, then send it to me afterwards. So this is a fully functional uh, Game & Watch made by Nintendo in, it says 2010 here. So I think this was available in some other regions as well, but yeah, uh, it's currently in the European Stars catalog, so get yours now while stocks last. This is uh, really cool stuff that Nintendo still still makes uh, makes these in this day and age. So thanks a lot to Satchman two thousand for being my courier with this one, uh, but don't go uh, pestering him for. <laughs> For a similar service, he doesn't want it. Want to do it for everybody, you know. And uh, the next game that I was eagerly awaiting is this uh, Atari Masterpieces Volume Two for the Engage. And uh, uh, the reason that I waited for uh, for this so anxiously because this is uh, this was the last game that I was missing from a complete Engage game collection. So, uh, a very special uh, Engage video coming soon. I'll, I'll present the whole Engage catalog uh, in in you know two uh, two weeks maybe. Then some modern stuff. Finally got uh, around to bolstering my PlayStation Vita collection. Finally got Uncharted: Golden Abyss. And for the 3DS, got Paper Mario, Sticker Star, and Castlevania, Lords of Shadow, Mirror of Fate. Haven't had the time to play this yet, but uh, eagerly awaiting, even though this, uh, I think this isn't up to par of the uh, other handheld Castlevanias, but more emphasis on action rather than exploration, but still should be a good game. The local game stops here are uh, basically it's now done. <laughs> they don't uh, uh, accept any any more game uh, Cube, GameCube and uh, old Xbox games. I think they still take some PlayStation 2 games in, but uh, the stocks are, are really low. I got these for next to nothing. Got uh, 007 from Russia with Love and Namco Museum 50th Anniversary. Uh, they basically only have sports titles there, so I had to get these uh, real games uh, while they still had these. For, yeah, I think I paid like a, a euro a piece, something like that. Then back to modern games. Yeah, these are promo versions. Uh, Metal Gear Rising a Revengeance, a really really cool game. Uh, yeah, it's it's funny the design looks looks Metal Gear, but uh, it <laughs> doesn't sound like Metal Gear at all. Uh, the music and uh, yeah, but it it is the action is is really platinum games. So a nice little uh, mix and match uh, type of game, cool stuff. So I got here Gears of War Judgment. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, 
tough to say about this. Uh, it's it, again, it is kind of kind of sad that they couldn't um, just keep their own style. They had to make some some tweaks to the weapon system and make the pace more hectic, stuff like that. Uh, it's a shame because uh, all the shooters are losing their identity. But yeah, but Gears still feels like Gears, but uh, I hope they won't making any more uh, adjustments to the core gameplay uh, with the next game. But yeah, the, I had some, had some cool stuff here, like with the challenges that you can accept during the missions, although I think the challenges are they're quite uh, too frequent, you know, you should have some places where you don't have any challenges. Uh, um, uh, on, but basically when the uh, previous one ends you're uh, presented with the next one straight away, so some pacing could have been nice, but yeah, excellent, excellent game, excellent game still, even though this is the fourth game in a single uh, generation, so kind of uh, outstaying their welcome, well Assassin's Creed even more so and many other uh, many other game series as well so I guess the uh, Gears of War isn't isn't the worst offender here. Uh, also got Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate for the Wii U. Nice to see that the Wii U is getting some game uh, games released for it. Uh, February was uh, pretty much dead but now March has uh, several high profile games for it so Hopefully the console will pick it up, even though this is a uh, enhanced port of the Wii game. But still, I'm not sure how many people uh, have actually played the game. So now is a perfect opportunity to jump on the Monster Hunter bandwagon. Fantastic game! Finally, got here a PC game, older, older PC game, Lord of the Rings Online. Volume 2 Mines of Moria, and this is the special edition. The game went free to play a while back, so uh, this uh, physical copy here is a bit of a relic. Uh, so, what better stuff to collect? There's some cool, cool items here. Let's do a little unboxing here for this straight away. So here we have, let's leave those last, I think, thick, thick manuals here, the game and a soundtrack CD. I think this is a, this is a funny way of uh, distributing, you know, friend codes or uh, trial uh, activation codes. You can send a postcard to your friend, and uh, the activation code is here. So this was a fun idea from them. Also got here a map. some other goodies as well. We have here an elven uh, cloak brooch and in this little pouch uh, we have no less than the one ring. Not sure if you can pick up the inscriptions there. Still a nice, nice replica with a Nice golden sheen to it. And uh, yeah, with this, uh, that was the end of this recent collecting video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.